Hello and welcome. Thank you for popping into my channel. If you are new here, please like and subscribe for me. If you find this content helpful, smash that notification bell so that you don't miss out on the next video. Comment below with anything that you need help with or topics you'd like me to cover and check out my website, consultingninja.tech. With that out of the way, what the heck is percent spelt kit dot head percent? What is that? What does it do? Have you ever noticed this hiding inside of your SvelteKit application? In the app.html file, there is a percent SvelteKit.head percent, and there is also a percent SvelteKit.body percent. Uh, and have you ever noticed those and wondered what is going on with those? What do they do? I am here to tell you. Anywhere that you have a file rendering in your application, and you want, when that file renders, to insert something in this exact location in your app.html file, that's what you can do with this. And you also can do that with the body. You can do it with the document and the window as well. There are some obstacles that you run into when you're trying to use this with the document and window because those items are not available in server-side rendering. But as far as the head and the body are concerned, uh, we can use these in pretty straightforward ways. And I'll just show you and you guys can tell me what you think of this. So in this application, I just have two pages, uh, page one and page two, a home page and a page two. And we can just go back and forth, nothing special going on there. But inside of the files, inside of the home page, let's say I want to insert something in the, to the head of my HTML file when this renders, all I need to do is put a svelte colon head like that, open it and closing tag. And then I just put what I want. In this case, let's add a title and say consulting ninja title SEO. Give that a save. And now in our application, you can see that the tab title updates here. And if I were to inspect this and go into the head, you'll see that there is a title tag here that's been inserted right here, title consulting ninja title SEO. And let's say that there is uh, another page that I have that has unrelated content to what's in my page one, I can add another, so let's go ahead and copy this and go to page two and paste that and I can have this something else consulting ninja page two SEO now if I save that you'll see nothing changes here but if I move to page two the title tag has now changed and the title tag in the elements in the inspector has also changed so very base level what you can do with this is insert whatever it is that you want to insert into the head of your HTML uh, documents. This becomes important, especially for uh, client rendered apps. Uh, this is really important because this is going to help your search engine optimization. If you can dynamically create your uh, title tags, as well as other tags. This is gonna be super helpful for your search engine optimization if you are updating your titles depending on what page you're on, if the, especially if the content, uh, any backlinks you have are different uh, for different types of websites than what's on one page. This is really gonna help your SEO. And there's other stuff that you can do here as well. Basically, anything that you would want to dynamically insert in your head, um, you can do that. And another thing that you can do is you can have the content be something that is dependent upon your load function. So inside of routes, let's create a plus page.js and let's create a export function load. And then we'll return an object with a data. Uh, let's just say anything here. Name, name. And now in my plus page.svelte, I can access that 
with the old script tag, export let data, and now I can get rid of this and put a bracket in there and do data dot name give that a save and now in my uh, home page the title tag is now dynamic content you'll see the title tag here is changed and the title tag in the head uh, down here so both in the tab and the title tag in the console both of those have changed and now you can imagine uh, this is a pretty straightforward uh, example but you can get as complicated and crazy as you'd like to get uh, whatever sort of uh, criteria that you could possibly come up with you can implement here to have uh, updated title tags you can have anything that you want to update inside of your head updated you also can update things in the body of your html document dynamically as well as the uh, window document body uh, head all of these options are available and you can access them the same way just by having that svelte tag svelte colon and then whatever version you're wanting to run you can make whatever changes you'd like uh, I just wanted to point this out for anyone that is not familiar with that. So those are some cool things that you can do with the percent, uh, percent sveltkit.head percent and the sveltkit.body percents. Uh, those are a couple of things that you can do. So that's what these are for. They tell you where uh, sveltkit is going to insert those items that you are uh, adding in your pages in, in between the svelte head element just be careful about using the uh, window version since window is not available in server-side rendering. I hope that you found this video helpful. If you did, please like and subscribe. Comment below with your thoughts. Uh, how are you going to use this in your application or are you using this in your application already? And as always, have a great day. Mm -hmm.